You want to come for a walk to the woods? Yeah, you really look very, very interested. You ain't coming. So, do you want to come for a walk to the woods? Oh, you also look very interested. Well, then you ain't coming either. What is up guys and girls, this is Expedition Hawk with another video for you. Today's video will be about this particular winter bag, as some of you have messaged me to do a review about this one. So that is exactly what will happen today. Um, let me find out what we will bring for today. I think we will definitely take the older Mark Tremor, yeah, and the, not the down mat. Uh, sin mad yeah so uh, let's head out to the woods and let me pack this shit down i'm sorry if there's a lot of wind noise but uh yeah it's kind of windy today so uh, i actually live right over here somewhere but uh yep heading to the woods can you hear this Wow, they're so noisy today. Come on, man. I'm gonna make a video here. Yay, I found myself two good trees here. So uh, I'm gonna put it on the stand and I'm gonna put up my hammer between these two trees here. So uh, give me a minute, guys. Okay, guys. So uh, now we've got the uh, mock hammock up and uh, as said, this is a video about the sleeping bag. Why did I put the hammock up? Well, uh, when I'm done with this little review of this sleeping bag, I can always take a little nap here. So uh, yeah, a little something about the sleeping bag. Um, it's actually a sleeping bag by Mountain Equipment. This model is the Glacier Expedition. There's also other models uh, called Glacier. I think Glacier 700 and stuff like this, but uh, this is the Glacier Expedition, and that's the only name it has. It's actually a bag made for polar expeditions uh, in the Arctic. It's incredible warm, actually, and uh, it's only one of a handful of bags that has this expedition fit, which is a little roomier. And what I think, what I think is very special about this bag is that it has a good night temperature rating of minus 35 degrees Celsius. So that is very cold. It is just around two kilos. It's actually 2.02 kilos, 71.5 uh, ounces. And uh, the fill weight in it alone is like 1,352 grams or something, like 48 ounces. It packs down rather small if you use a compression sack, which I normally do. I just store it in the big uh, pack sack that you saw at home. It is made with dry loft. It's made totally with dry light loft, which is an exceptionally light and highly breathable and water resistant shell fabric. Also, it is a, of course a down sleeping bag and uh, it is with down 700. It is high quality duck down and with a cluster of 90%. This is a very, very nice uh, down sleeping bag. And it's also down codex approved. This is Dry Light Love 2 outer shell, which is very lightweight, breathable, and of course it is water resistant. And that is a very nice feature to have in a down sleeping bag, if you ask me. It has a very nice five baffle anatomically shaped hood and in equally as nice six baffle anatomically shaped and offset foot box here. And what is my own experiences with this bag? And why do I call this the perfect bag for all seasons? Well, let me tell you, I slept in this bag in Northern Norway in winter time, where it was at that time minus 27 degrees. And I slept in this bag with only my underpants man and I felt cozy like a baby in a warm blanket it was really really superior and I've also slept in this 
particular bag in both fall and spring where I also just stepped in my underpants so uh, and that's without a liner and I know a lot of you may believe that you should use a liner and that's cool but uh, I myself just don't like liners I think they are a pain in the beep and uh, yeah this works perfectly well for me if it gets too hot in the fall and in the spring with this bag I just open it up a little here and that is plenty of ventilation and uh, why don't I mention summer well first off I normally don't hike so much in summer and if I do I am not even bringing a sleeping bag I just bring a liner or a small blanket or something so that's why so yeah as said I find this to be the perfect all season bag I know you can't call it a summer bag but uh, really in summer you don't even need a bag uh, now I know there's a lot of reviews and a lot of videos out there about the perfect uh, summer bag and fall and spring and winter and all this but uh, I actually also at some point thought about I wanted a like a spring and summer bag and a fall and winter bag but when I found out that I could sleep in this easily both in spring and fall also just like I could in winter I figured why not that's perfect man one bag for everything and it truly is one bag for everything out of all my gear I would say this sleeping bag here is probably the one piece of gear that I'm most happy about I really love this sleeping bag I really do and this particular model the Glacier Expedition from Mountain Equipment cost around 500 pounds which is equivalent to like 660 670 dollars US dollars so yeah it's not a cheap bag but it's definitely not an expensive bag either and I would say it would be one of the best buys you could make in regarding to sleeping bags unless you are a ultralight hiker I am NOT an ultralight hiker I've never been and I probably never will be because I like luxury man um, I like hiking I like being minimalistic but I really really want a cozy a big fluffy but still lightweight sleeping bag and this is the answer to my prayers so uh, perfect bag if you ask me so yeah this was the quick look of the mountain equipment glacier expedition sleeping bag what a beautiful sleeping bag it only comes in red which I don't have a problem with as I actually like red sleeping bags and yeah another thing I wanted to tell you guys is that I've actually got to use these amok hammocks some more so I have some new and more in-depth opinion about the old amok dramur here versus the new amok dramur so uh, maybe there will come a video about that particular subject in near future so if you guys want to see a new video with renewed opinions about this old version of Amok Dramur versus the newer model leave me a comment below and I will make a video about it for you guys so I guess the only thing left to do right now is of course yeah you got it oh yeah you know what time it is it's expedition hawk time okay forget about the nap time I just heard rifles going off in the woods one after the other so uh, I guess it's hunting time and I'm not gonna stay in the woods and that's for damn sure I don't want bullets in my ass or in my sleeping bag no way man so uh, anyways if you like this video please like and subscribe for a little channel like my own that means a lot it also means a lot for myself personally to see you guys comment and like and subscribe even if you don't like the video or if you have some critiques or something let me know let me know about it so I can do better but uh, until next time stay happy smile enjoy life Expedition Hawk see you next time